Probability can be described as a value between 0 and 1, which represents an estimation of the likelihood that a certain event will occur. When getting started in working with probabilities, there are a few definitions that you need to know. Trial, a single attempt or evaluation of a random phenomenon. Outcome, the observable result for a particular instance of a trial. Event, a subset of the sample space. Sample space, the set of all possible outcomes. Independence. Two events are independent if the probable outcome of one event does not influence the probable outcome of another event. Dependence. Two events are dependent if the outcome of one event exerts an influence over the outcome of another event. Disjoint also known as mutually exclusive. Events are disjoint when they share no common outcomes. One or the other may occur, but not both. When working with probability, you'll also need to know some basic formulas. The probability of a single simple event. That formula is given by the probability of A equals the count of outcomes in A divided by the count of all possible outcomes. The probability that an event does not occur, this is called the complement rule, and it's given by the formula the probability of A equals 1 minus the probability of A's complement. The probability of events A or B, these are disjoint events. Probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B. The probability of events A and B. For this we use the general multiplication rule for independent events. The probability of A and B equals the probability of A times the probability of B. When working with probabilities in general, an OR statement will refer to addition, while an AND statement generally refers to multiplication. The general addition rule for OR events. This formula may be used also for non-disjoint events. Probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. The general multiplication rule for AND events. This formula can be used for dependent and independent events. The probability of A and B equals the probability of A times the probability of B given A. Finally, let's look at the conditional probability rule, which states the probability of B given A is equal to the probability of A and B divided by the probability of A. In the next video, we'll look at some examples of how these formulas can be applied to solve basic probability problems and statistics.